Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Thank you so much, Lord, for this opportunity. And thank you for this time that we are here to hear your word and to receive from you. Thank you, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every manner of need that is represented here, I thank you for no one shall go home untouched. No one shall go home undelivered. No one shall go home without hearing your voice and without encounter, encountering you. Through your word, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Before I begin about the topic, let me talk something small about the church as far as serving God is concerned. Hallelujah. Amen. The church is the platform for the supernatural relationship. The church is the platform for the supernatural, supernatural relationship where we need to grow spiritually. Number two, God doesn't want us to be isolated. Tell your neighbor, God doesn't want you to be isolated. Be isolated. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 68 verse 16 that God sets, sets the solitary in families. So this is to show you that God doesn't want you to be isolated. That is number two reason for the church, that God doesn't want you to be isolated. Number three, when we were born again, when you got born again, you are included in the universal church. Are we together? That is the church at large, the body of Christ. But, but God does not want you to be outside a local church. Are we together? God wants you to be in a local church. There's a reason why God wants you to be in a local church. Why local church? My, my number one point, why local church? Local churches are God's systems and plan. Local churches are God's systems and plans for the development of a believer. Are we together? So, churches, local churches are God's plans and systems for the development of a believer. Development in growth and development in accountability. So you see, God doesn't want to raise uh, some irresponsible people. No, he wants to, to, to raise accountable people. Are we together? And that you can only find in a local church. So beside the universal church, there is these systems of God to develop believers, and that is local church. So never subscribe to Ise, what wanna say, ma? You don't need to go to church. You are born again. You can have the church is you. You can stay at home. No. That is, 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 you need number one, you contaminate a believer. Because it is in the local church where this guy is developed in growth, is developed in some characters. One day I, invi I invited someone to church and, and, and she told me, you don't know the kind of clothes I wear. So first I'll inuliza, can I come the way normally in Akuanga? Yes, the church is open. Akanembe, let me tell you, you have no idea the kind of clothes I wear. It is in the local church where some things zinanza kushepiwa. As you can attest, you didn't come the way you are today. Are we together? Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. I am not the way I am. I am not the way I was when I joined JCC Island. Senior. Yeah. So it is impossible to say you belong to a universal church and you don't belong to a local church. Number one is because I repeat, it is God's systems and plan to develop a believer. Are we together? In the local church, a believer is helped to grow, as I've said, in being, number one, first fed the, what we call the spiritual milk. There are some things you need to know. So, if you are born again and you are left like that, then we come maybe a few months. Uh, in fact, your state will be worse. Are we together? Hey, it will be worse because when you are born again, you are translated to another life. Now, if mtoto ameachiliwa tu, amezaliwa kwa earth, alafu ameachiliwa. When that child grows, when that child grows, ana, ana kuwa na so much complications. Are we together? So, value local church. Value local church. And your local church is what? Sold out. Are we together? Yeah. If you are happy about your local church, clap your hands. Yeah. 
So among many benefits of a local church is this one benefit that we will discuss today. And that benefit, it is service. Are we together? That service, you, you will only get it in a local church. You cannot be born again and you stay outside local church. Then you, you expect to find this benefit. So service is among the major benefits of being in a local church. Serving God is every believer's covenanted responsibility. Are we together? Serving God, you don't need a title in church to serve God. Are we together? You do not need ordination to serve God. You do not need... Serving God is not a talent. Are we together? So you say like, it's not football. Where you can go to a pitch, unasema, a missus is just a ball, sina, 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 siko talented. Serving God doesn't need a talent to serve God. It is a choice. You remember Joshua? That as for you today, choose whom you will serve today. As for me, I will serve the Lord. Serving God is a choice. And so many people are in that valley of making choice. They have still not made their choice about serving God. I don't know what they are waiting for, but today I break the news for you. Whatever you are waiting for, it is choice. To make that choice to serve God. Are we together? So serving God and his interests here on earth is what makes a servant of God. Are we together? So don't wait for anything uh, to happen. Don't wait for, Pastor Sam once told us, don't wait for Angel Michael. Don't wait for voices. Don't wait for, those things are wonderful. Sindio, when God tells you, uh, brother, brother Chado, I want you to begin carrying seats in church. I mean, it's wonderful. But don't wait for that. It is your choice. You have to make it. Are we together? Another point. There is absolutely enough for everyone to do in the house of God. There is absolutely enough. And there is no limitation. A boy, a girl, you are brown, you are black, tall, short. There is no limitation in the house of God. There is absolutely enough for everyone. And guess what? This chance is a chance, is a lifetime chance. Serving God pace. I told you you are going to write some, some good notes. Serving God pays more than any platform here on earth can offer. Serving God pays more than any platform here on earth can offer to you. Serving God pays most and it pays the best. Are we together? Serving God may not make sense, but it, it, it secures destiny. Are we together? Serving God sometimes in Ezekosa could make sense. And I'll be telling you the reason why as we proceed. You see, I've arranged how I will talk to you. Are we together? So you won't cause me to jump or I will say exactly as in the name of Jesus. Are we together? Serving God particularly when you are challenged. Are we together? Those people who are discouraged, they cannot serve God, they can no longer come to church, they can no longer do anything in the house of God, unless you could challenge, you're not even happy about the present worship, you're not happy about anything. Serving God, especially when you are challenged, it touches God for a change of your story. Are we together? Look in Job chapter, and I will just paraphrase, Job chapter 32, uh, Job chapter 13, verse 15. Job said that though he slays me, yet I will, yet I will trust in him. And when you go to Job chapter 42 verse 10, you see God rewarding Job twice the greatest. Listen, I'm here to tell somebody, if you are here and you have not given up on God, your story is about to change. If you are here and you have not given up on God, your story is about to change. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are, we are still riding on. Are we together? I want, I want us to, to see something. 
Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. The day I will not want you to write, I will come without a notebook. Are we together? Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. No one, no one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Uh-huh. Or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You so, cannot serve God and, and, serve, and, serve mammon. and serve mammon. So listen. I've come to learn that there is nothing worse like energy placed in a wrong place. What a waste. What a waste. You see, it's like if I try to interpret this scripture, my own style, it's like the same energy used to serve mammon is the same required to serve God. But the issue is people have twisted their, pri- their priorities. And there is nothing worse as energy placed in a wrong place. Look how people have become slaves to money. The word served, the word served there in Greek, in Amanisha, to become a slave. Look how people one day in, uh, in one of the groups I am in, in, in Facebook, someone posted, I want a loan of 50,000. And he was posting everything at a touch in case anyone had ampatia that loan. And I could look at these documents, they're important in case the pote, this guy at Asumbuka. But the guy is willing to give anything, anything for money. See how people are so slaves to money how they can do anything, how most prostitutes are there because of money. A a prostitute can, anajiangalia kwa kiyo, anawana bado a look look the part. Akienda huko inje, maybe atakataliwa. Anawana wacha toboe. Wacha fanye nini. Wacha, wacha, wacha achore tattoo. Only to fit, to fit into your company of slavery. People have twisted their, their priorities because they do not know that that energy, if you place it on God, wow. if you place it on God, mm-hmm. are we together? Yes. It's nothing wrong as energy placed in a wrong place. Are we together? But I don't know if you are like me. Me, I decide, I choose one master and that master is God. I choose him forever and that is God. So God is not unjust. Look at Hebrews chapter 10, chapter 6, verse 10. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. You shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. You see, I am probably I'm the one shocked that today I'm preaching and probably you, but God is not surprised. Are we together? God is not surprised. The Bible says that for God is not unjust to forget your work and labor. Hey, continue, bro. For God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown toward his name. Mm. In that you have ministered to the, to the saints and do minister. Write Proverbs chapter 11 verse 25. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. So God is not unjust to forget anything you do in his house. Serving God has worked for me. And today by looking at what is happening in my life, I will be lying if I say I'm shocked. The blessings that God has poured into my life. I'll be shocked. I'll be, I'll be lying if I say I'm surprised. Because God is never unjust to forget what you do in his house. It is a matter of time before you say this song that it is not a waste to serve God. You just keep on. Keep on doing that. Keep on arranging seats. Keep on sweeping. Keep on coming into the house of God. Keep on playing. Keep on serving in the sound. One day you will sing this song. That it is not a waste to serve God. Because the God we are serving is not unjust. Are we together? The God we are serving is not unjust. When you decide that this is one thing I will do in the house of God. 
whether cleaning the carpet, whether arranging the seats, whether doing this, hanging. This is the reason why I can never stop serving in the house of God. Sometimes I come, uh, Minister Fidela na nipatia bana, already asha joyoni kazi yangu, shika, eno funge. I run. Isiati, maybe, ni, uh, maybe it's a, maybe it's a good job ama nini. No, because I know, I know that anything you decide to do in the house of God, useme mimi, indi endakuwa nafanya kwa, kwa hawa ya God. With a very, with a very, uh, with a very open heart and excitement, you will realize that it is investment you have been doing in your life, for your life, for your destiny, for your future, for uh, whatever college you want to go, ni investment. Yo kitu kidogo unafanya kwa hawa ya God, ni investment unafanya, ni investment unaweka, ni investment, investment umeweka. Are we together? Then you will again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked. Mm. Between those who serve God and those who do not. Again? Then you will again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked. Mm. Between those who serve God and those who do not. So listen. You can serve Safaricom. You can serve the bank. You can serve whatever company you choose. A company can give you bread, but I don't see any company that can bless your bread. Are we together? A company can, can give you money, but I, I can't see any company that can take away sickness from your midst. After you are being born again, you are not born again to stay. When Jesus was baptized, when Jesus was baptized and God affirmed him, he did not sit down na kasema, God asha in kubali, Asha semami mtoto wake, so let me... No. When you read further, you see the goods, that, the things that Jesus worked. After you are born again, there is something for you to do. Are we together? After you are born again, there is something for you to do. Number one is growing. Now listen. In growing, there are some things that evidence growth. There are some things that evidence growth. Without those evidence, we cannot say that there is growth. So, a typical example. For example, when you are a child. When you are a child, you are being served. Everything was being done for you. Anything you wanted, it was brought. Anything you requested. Anything you demanded as a child. But then, you needed to grow. Are we together? When you are a child, everything was brought to you. But when you grew up, the next thing you had was, Kevo, bring your peg. Letter your uh, sufuria. Letter your nini. Letter your, letter, letter, letter slippers. Wengine walikuwa natumua slippers zao za kuchapua. Wengine walikuwa natumua kamba zao za kufungua migu. Nde wasi zunguke kwa nyumba. But what I'm saying is that service evidenced your growth. Now you can be sent to supermarket. Now you can be sent to pay school fees. You can be sent to pay bills. Because service has evidenced your growth. And see how parents are happy when children now see how parents are happy for you. That now they can send you. That now when I joke you 20,000 and take it to pay a house rent. You will go and pay. They are not bothered. Tell me how much God, how God will be happy if the child he has raised, now he can be sent. Now he can be told, do this. Go and preach. Go and go to schools. Come to the house of God and take the department of ushering. Are we together? Service is a proof of spiritual growth. Never forget that. Spiritual growth is not just about memorizing scripture. It's not about quoting scripture. Those things are good and you cannot grow spiritually without scriptures. Are we together? But it doesn't end there. That is not enough qualification for spiritual growth. Spiritual growth is evidenced by service. When you can come to the house of God and serve, now we know you have grown. 
Listen, in church, you are either burning or you are other people's fire extinguisher. Are we together? You are either burning or you are other people's fire extinguisher. Are we together? So, service is a proof that someone has grown spiritually. Serving in the house of God. And look at Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. There is a difference. And you shall return and see the distinction between those who are righteous and wicked. Between those who serve God and those who do not. Are we together? There is a difference. In I, I mentioned a scripture in Exodus chapter 23 verse 25. Exodus 23 verse 5. Verse 25, sorry. So, so you shall serve the Lord your God. Yes. And he will bless your bread and your water. Yes. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Yes. So listen. This scripture was in the Old Testament. We are not refusing. Are we together? Yes. So when we come after Jesus paid our debts and now we are free, we are living under grace. Are we together? Yes. So, in the law you needed to do something for God to do something second. Are we together? Yes. So you needed to do something first for God to do something second. Yeah. For you. Are we together? Uh -huh. But in the New Testament, the order was changed. Yes. Are we together? Yes. Now it is God doing because God has done it now you can do it. Yes. That's why in the New Testament we know now we can forgive sin because Christ has forgiven us. Uh -huh. In the old was, if you do not forgive your neighbor, God will not forgive you. Are we together? Yes. So listen. In as much as we were translated to the new, the new uh, order, mm -hmm. whereby it is God doing, now we can do it. How does it apply to this scripture? The Bible says, you, so you shall serve the Lord your God this is you first, serving the Lord your God and you will bless your bread and water. This will be contrary according to how we were raised, uh, how we were translated, the new, the new uh, uh, order. Yeah. We are under grace. But listen to this. Are we together? This rule still applies. Number one, mm -hmm. don't lose me. This rule still applies. But we are not serving God or rather obeying God so that he will bless us according to our own abilities, mm -hmm. but according to the ability of Jesus. Yes. Wow. Are we together? Yes. So, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 that it is God working in you to do both to will and to do that which bring good pleasure to him is until, listen, Malachi 3.18, don't go, Malachi 3.18, there is a difference between those who serve God and those who do not serve God. There is a difference. So, staying like I'm, it's not a must I do something for God to bless me. No. The rule, it is still there, active and alive, mm -hmm. but now it is not according to our own ability. It is according to the ability of Jesus. Yes. We serve God because Jesus has obeyed him to the death, yes. to the point of death. Yes. Are we together? Yeah. We can obey God until we go to heaven. Not because of our own ability or our own strength. No. Because Jesus obeyed God to the point of death. Wow. Now it is his ability working in us. Yes. Are we together? Yeah. Listen, when you got born again, there is a work inside of you God is God has something, God has some work inside of you mm -hmm. that is doing. And let me tell you, to work out your own salvation, it is to yielding to the work that God is doing inside of you. And that work is service. Listen, I've told you serving God has worked for me. I remember when I joined church in 2011, being uh, from a bad background in Kiambio slums. So no one, you see, uh, what were slums wing, especially some slums like the one I came from, 
we are always suspicious are we together yes so when you come someone mtu anajua kikuja ni kama unataka kuchukua kitu so i remember how it was hard to prove that we are genuine and we are good and etc so i remember we got a chance together with my brother my brother is uh, freddy i prambo so we i remember we joined and we got a chance to serve god we didn't get a chance to serve god beginning with microphone are we together yeah. huh? those people were waiting for microphone <laughs> those people are waiting for microphone to call it serving god uh-uh. there is steps are we together yes so what were we holding broom mm-hmm. seats mm-hmm. toilets mm. ceilings tents washing buckets <laughs> mop but listen to me i want you to get me here i don't know how broom is connected to someone having a mega church hey. only god knows hey. i don't know how serving tea i remember my, the first time i knew my pastor my pastor was in tea department serving tea with jug but i don't know how serving tea with jug is connected to having wow. mega churches wow i don't know how arranging seats is connected to you serving god in other dimensions in raising dead the dead in healing the sick i don't know how what i'm trying to say is where you set your mind to begin begin there that seat mm-hmm. i don't know how it is connected yes that sweeping the church i don't know how it is connected yes cleaning this carpet i don't know how it is connected mm-hmm. this is the reason why i will never stop working in the house of god amen even if i become a pastor of of 20 churches amen amen it's not an ambition i've just it's, it's an example I will never stop running cables I will never stop carrying speakers I will never stop sweeping I will never stop hanging things This is the reason why I am passionate serving the Lord because I don't know if I hold this seat what is it iko connected na nini Nikifagei carpet sijui iko connected na nini Niki nikiwa wa kwanza church kufungwa milango to make sure i am there with ushering department arranging seats i will not be coming in the house of god when everything is set and i will not leave when anything everything is not piled wow i don't know how hanging things i don't know what is connected to mm-hmm. i will do it i will do it mm-hmm. carrying the drums to Van. I don't know iko connected na nini I will do it yes. because I have been sweeping the church office I've been sweeping around I've been sweeping I've been sweeping I've been kutengeneza compound sometimes I'm without jacket niko na vest natengeneza natengeneza kuosha vyombo kuosha vyombo church kufanya nini kuosha nini everything everything me I can do anything and I will never stop doing anything because I've realized that the ways of god are mysterious uh-huh. the ways of god are mysterious look at any great person and let them give you their story how it started mm-hmm. you'll be shocked that this man is a prophet but along his journey kuna mali alishika kifagio kuna mali alitengeneza alitengeneza roof i am so captivated when i see our own people climbing huku juu wana wanaeka mawe wanafunga bana listen for those who have been funga funga vitu bana don't stop mm-hmm. don't stop you don't know what is connected to yeah. don't stop it is connected to something great that ukika hivi unacheka hey ukika hivi unacheka the things that when they are done i will say it the things that god is doing in my life i am laughing like because i don't deserve anything nikiangalia i i have not qualified of any privilege that naona kwa life yangu sahi but god knows when nilikuwa nakufanyisha hizo kazi i knew what i was doing god knows 
when you are joining a department in church, mm -hmm. in sold out ministry, God knows Amen. the reason why. You see, the Bible says that Jesus was driven by the Holy Spirit to the wilderness. Pastor said something that captivated my heart. Jesus, or rather God knows the correct course that you need for where you are going. God knows the correct course that you need, the correct training that you need, how we need to develop you. Are we together? Yes. So stick in church. Tell your neighbor, stick in church. Stick in church. Stick with God. Stick with God. Wambie endelea kubangaiza na God. Endelea kubangaiza na God. Utajionea. Utajionea. Are we learning something? Yes. As I, as I finish, so listen. Serving is a proof of growth, of spiritual growth. You've been born again. We thank God for those 10 years, for those 3 months, for those 1 year. We thank God. But don't be comfortable not serving God in his house. Don't be comfortable not serving God in his house. You see, sometimes you could think maybe you're being wise, kutoroka, uh, let me not use kutoroka, maybe kutoka before service ishe, and if it's a must, it is understandable. Are we together? But sometimes, people in church, they think it is wisdom, maybe kukuja, after everything is said, kutoka when everything is undone. No. When your parent expects you to serve now that you're grown and you're not serving, we call that childish. Are we together? That's being childish. Are we together? Onajua childishness na foolishness in Karibianga. So today in the name of Jesus, we are delivered. Today in the name of Jesus, we are delivered. So I pray, my prayer is that you will find that one thing to do. Try everything. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching for the first time with a very big notebook. But I don't know how it is connected. Maybe very soon I'll be releasing some utterances. Some. Maybe I'll be calling names. I don't know. But where you are, begin. If you don't begin, you'll never begin. You need to cultivate this culture as early as now. How I wish Ningianza could serve God Nikiwa two years old. Because if this is as, as a result of the last two years, how I wish Ningianza God Uko Kitambo. I'm encouraging you as your brother, not a guest minister, as your brother. Begin now to serve God. Serving God is not, I. It's not the picture you have in your mind. No. Allow God to show you. And how will you know God is showing you? What is in your heart? You've been, you've been thinking. Actually, you've been thinking. Neza kuwa asha. Neza kuwa sound. Neza kuwa nafagia. And how do you know you're supposed to do something? When something especially is bothering you. Unona, unona carpet, maybe aiko vizuri. It shows that you're supposed to do something. Unona, maybe uh, ashes wana sumbuka in a certain area. It shows that you're supposed to do that. Are we together? So me, I'm encouraging you as your brother. Begin now to serve God. And wait and see the kind of investment you're doing. For there shall be a difference. There shall be a difference. If your scripture, ya Exodus 23, 25, hainge kwa ina work, mbona watu wana serve God wako blessed. It is one thing to have bread, as I said, but know where you'll find someone blessing your bread and water who is not God. I have seen rich people dying of cancers and I've seen people who are serving God being rescued from that pit. I have seen people with money, people with influence only turning into and when you go down kuna story ya miscarriage, kuna story ya nini, curses I've seen people who are rich 
going through all those and I've seen people who are serving God being escaped because there has to be a difference. The word of God, it is proven and tested. When you say there has to be a difference, there has to be a difference. Young person, autaki kupotelea uko inje enroll yourself in the business of God. Being always in his house. Ukisikia kuna soul winning, you are there. Ukisikia kuna workers meeting, you are there. Ukisikia service inaanza 11 a.m. na umezoea 2 a.m. au 30, you are there. Ukisikia service inaanza 8 a.m., you are there. Always burning with zeal for the house of God. Always burning with zeal for the house of God. So begin now. Don't be comfortable going home every Sunday without you serving God. Na nimewambia haina limitation. It begins where you, anywhere. Today you can decide to be always carrying, kusaidia watu wa sound, and that is, today you can be, decide kukua watu wa kutua hizi uh, vitamba, and that is, but watch your life. There shall be a difference between you that serve God and you and, and, and anyone else that is not serving God. Are we together? If you're learning something, clap your hands for Jesus. Where you are, I want you to I want you to ask God to give you grace. To give you grace. Grace to serve in his house. 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 Father, we thank you. We ask you for grace to serve in your house. To do that cleaning, that washing, that piling of seeds. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I declare to you today in the name of Jesus that you shall always be on fire to serve God. Yes. You shall always be on zeal to serve the Lord. Yes. You shall never be comfortable in the name of Jesus Christ not serving God. Yes. And as you serve God, he shall bless your bread and water. Yes. He shall take away sickness away from you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you're serving the Lord, I can see good reports locating you in the name of Jesus. Yes. I can see good reports locating in the name of Jesus. As you are serving God, I can see you going to that university. Yes. You going to that college. Yes. You going to that career that you desire. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As a result of serving the Lord. Yes. Any hindrance to you serving God. Yes. Be it weakness, discouragement, demonic oppression. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is broken today. From Jesus. today, I release you to begin doing some cleaning in the house of God. Amen. To begin doing some sweeping Amen. in the house of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Stand up on our feet in the name of Jesus. As I invite Pastor Sam in the mighty name of Jesus. Wow, wow. Can we appreciate the servant of God? Can we appreciate the servant of God? Wow. Lift up your hands, everybody. Say, in the name of Jesus. 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 Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. To serve you. To serve Clap you. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Pray that oh prayer. Lord. Pray that prayer. Give me the grace. Father, give me the grace. You. Oh Father, Lord. give me the grace. Give me the grace. Father, give me the grace. You. Give me the grace Fa to serve you. Give me the grace to serve you. Oh Lord. Give me the grace to serve you. Ikali ba ida keteli kando. Rikata li ba 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 ya rakata li bande. Oh Lord, give me the grace to serve you. Give me the grace to serve you. Give me the grace to serve you. Ikata la ba ida keteli branda la ba ya. Ekeli ba 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 do shali kande rebe la lokori branda la ba. Ekeli kanta la ba le le keri bando ro ro ya rakata li bande. Oh Lord, give me the grace. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, 
any power any power that is fighting my service that is fighting my service any power any power that is fighting my service that is fighting my service catch fire now catch fire now catch fire now catch fire now clap your hands and pray that prayer any power fighting my service any power any power fighting my service catch fire now confusion catch fire depression catch fire stress Catch fire, catch, fire. catch fire catch fire catch fire laziness catch fire excuses catch fire. excuses laziness excuses catch fire laziness catch fire 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 catch As for me and my house As for me and my house As for me and my house As for me As for me and my house As for me We shall serve the Lord 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 Your hands and declare that I will serve the Lord I will serve the Lord I will serve the Lord As for me and my house serve the Lord We will serve the Lord I will serve the Lord For me and my house I will serve the Lord Whether it is raining or sunshine or whatever paradise whatever the time I will serve the Lord I will serve the Lord we shall serve the Lord I will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus maybe you come maybe una sema pasis cha ukoka and I'd like to give my life to Jesus that is where you begin na Yesu anakupenda let me see your hand hata tuko na mkono wako unasema pastor sijaokoka that is where you begin manzia uwezi anza kwa kuusaa unaanza kupatia god life yako let me see your hand uko wapi with every head bowed kila mtu aitwa bao kichwa yake chini nataka kuona nani huyo mse mmoja wa wili anasema pastor sijaokoka na ningependa kupeana life yangu kwa god nataka kuona inua poa inua poa ndio nione inua poa inua poa inua vizuri inua tu vizuri inua vizuri stretch it high receive jesus boldly inua tu poa kabisa nione inua poa kabisa nione inua juu nataka kuona clearly clearly nani anataka kupokea yesu come 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 bio tumpigie makofi nani mwingine nani mwingine kuja 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 kama hujaokoka yesu anakuita come 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 Umefanya poa sana kuja church ni God amekuleta. Na sasa hizi anakuita uokoke. Kuja tu, kuja tu. Tunakupatia time. Tunakupatia time ukuja upokee Yesu. Uliza jirani yako kama ameokoka, uliza neiba yako umeokoka. Muulize kama hajaokoka kuja na yeye. Kuja na yeye aokoke leo. Kuja na yeye. Nani mwingine? Nani mwingine? Nani mwingine? Kabla nifunge nani mwingine? Unasema pasi sijaokoka na ningependa kuokoka. Nataka kuanza fresh. Okay, nani anasema nime backslide? Pastor mimi kama nime backslide, siko sure kama nimeokoka. Siko sure kama Yesu akikuja leo naenda na yeye. Let me see your hand. Come, kuja, kuja, kuja mbio. Tumpigie makofi, kuja mbio, kuja mbio. Kuja mbio, kuja mbio, kuja mbio. Kuja mbio, kuja mbio. Nani mwingine? Nani mwingine? Tumpigie makofi akikam. Tumpigie makofi. Wow. Eh eh. Serving you is my delight. Jehova, Jehova you are my tika. King of glory. Serving you is my delight. 
Fantastic. Let us appreciate Jesus. Inu wa mikono ju. Inu wa mikono yako ju. Tuwa saidiye say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Asanti. Asanti. Kwa kukufa. Kwa kukufa. Kwa sababu ya dhambi zangu. Kwa sababu ya dhambi zangu. Kwanzia leo. Kwanzia leo. Na mkata shetani. Na mkata shetani. Na mkubali yesu. Na mkubali yesu. Nime okoka. Nime okoka. Na nita mtumikia mungu. Na nita mtumikia mungu. Amen. Amen. Let us appreciate Jesus. <laughs>